welcome back to my channel. If you are new here and like the video, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button for more content. Thank you for watching. Hello everyone. I'm not sure why I'm holding that. It has been a hot minute since I've done one of these. Actually, I did have plans to make a video, yet... Mm, I'm in the middle of exam season so that's just like not an option at the moment but that's okay because i am beyond behind on this and this is this is something i know you guys rather prefer the co other content but we get to watch hana's content so like if you do not know we are obviously going to pick up where we left off and revisit the if i die series which is actually going to be part three out of five and this is featuring Yak yaku lev i usually say love yaku boka aka and kagihina i honestly really should be uh studying for my exam tomorrow but i don't really feel like it <laughs> Um, but the good thing is about that is, um, next week is spring break, so I will have plenty opportunity to get editing done and writing scripts and maybe even a live stream. I, d I don't want to, like, be like, yeah, I'm definitely doing a live stream because plans always happen and... <laughs> so, let's just go ahead and get into this before I just continue rambling because it's been a hot minute since I've done any of these. Hana is honestly so close to 10k subscribers, and it's insane. Like, I'm so happy for him. Okay, so we obviously are beyond behind. We're just going to scroll and scroll. But wait, there's more scrolling. Oh, wait, no, it's right here. <laughs> Let's go. It's, oh my gosh, I haven't seen this intro in ages. <coughs> yeah, stop singing. And with that, welcome to today's yes. video. Yes. In other words, if I die, challenge. This is actually kind of. Today's video features Yakuriev, Mokoaka, and Kagehina. A little comes a warning for panic attacks, so be aware if this is something. You heard the warning. Maybe not to watch this video. That's completely okay. And now I hope you will enjoy it. Let's go. Meanwhile, in the group chat. It's been so long, I don't even remember what happened. I'm just gonna pretend like I know what happened. Sounds about right. Sakura and Atsumu have a very strong relationship. I don't think we need to worry about that. That is true. Good. Then the much more important question is, who's next? I'm on my way home now and should be there in about five minutes, so I can go next. Great. Good luck, Leo. Remember that you still need to look pretty tomorrow for your job. Is this time skip? I forgot. Like, I literally forgot everything about this series. I have bad memory. And, like, I was, like, even, like, the doctor even told me, like, yeah, you have bad memory. So, it's it's been certified. I have bad memory. <laughs> so I don't remember anything okay I'm just going to find out if this is time skip or not um yeah it's Hana though it's Hana so it's that is as long as you don't remind him of a fight which you somehow always manage it's like a 90% chance that this is time skip so it's time skip we'll just go with it in a cold and dull atmosphere only interrupted by Liev, who smiled brightly regardless. The photo shoot went well, and it looked like he'd been able to secure the deal with the new client for a more long-term contract. First, it's been, I literally said this like 20 times so far in this video, but it's been so long since I've done this, and this is kind of refreshing. 
I should have done this a lot sooner, even when I was sick. <laughs> okay. I can't get any right to play after the good news. Right off of the cello. Who knows? Maybe in case this ended badly, it could save the evening. He was optimistic about it. All things considered, it was the most likely that Deku wouldn't take the question all that seriously. And even if he did, he was much more considerate than the others knew. He was barely through the front door when he already spotted the head of his boyfriend peeking around the corner. You're home early. Good. I was just about to get dinner started. Let's turn this up just a bit. Mostly because I'm deaf. Niachaka. Whoa, that's really loud. Next time you come home early, tell me. And then it's your turn to make dinner. He shouted from the kitchen while Liesto struggled to get his jacket off, too distracted by the things on his mind, namely Yaku. Such a simp. Then again, aren't they are? He himself free, he followed the Libero into the kitchen and snuck his arms around the smallest waist. Lie, I'm trying to cook. Well, I'm trying to say hello to my boyfriend after being separated for the whole day. He pouted, and Yaku sat in defeat, were continuing to slice the vegetables in front of them. They stayed like that for a while, with Liev snuggling up to Yaku's neck, who tried in vain to hide the soft smile, tugging his lips upward. Hey, Mori? Hmm? What would you do if I died? This is very soon. Bring you back to life. Kill you myself, bring you back to life again, and berate you for thinking you could leave without me. The I didn't Lea expect laughed, anything else. <laughs> tighter, he yelled in response and took a cautious step back from the stove. Didn't even hesitate, huh? <laughs> of course not. Yaku chuckled, returning around in his arms. What's up with you today? Nothing. I'm just happy. Yaku raised an eyebrow and searched his eyes for a more precise answer. Is there something I'd have to be worried about? No. But what would make you think that? Something you worry about? <gasps> no, I swear. <laughs> Well, that is, except that I might not be home all that much next week. Okay, so this is time skip. Yako looked at him questioningly, tilting his head in the process. I think I got the job. The Libero's eyes lit up, and he hugged him tightly in return. Oh my god, the fluff I need been needing! Yevochka. Congratulations! I'm proud of you! Hold on, the way that Hana said... His name? Leos. I never put that in any of my stories because I can never pronounce that. Like, at all. I was so cool. looked up at him with the brightest smile, causing Leos' heart to positively melt. He leaned down and pulled Yaku into a deep kiss. Thank you, my love. The smaller blushed and punched him playfully on his chest. Would it be bad timing to say that this was a challenge and that if I said it in the group chat, they will see you all domestic and cute? And he's gone. He mm, smiled sheepishly and pointed at the camera. He's gone. Yaku hesitated for a second before crossing his arms over his chest. I'm not embarrassed about loving my boyfriend. He said it, yet his cheeks were dusted unmistakably in a soft shade of pink. <laughs> and Kuro, if you're in the group chat and you dare tease me about it, I'll ask Suna for blackmail about you. <laughs> With that, this is so cute. Okay, so Hana mentioned at the beginning of the video about possible panic attacks. If that's the case, Levialku is definitely not 
in that list, so it's either Boko Aka or Kagihina, which will equally hurt. <laughs> okay. In no group chat. What did I do? Oh, he got attacked. <laughs> Wait. So for Boko Aka, it would be either Akashi that gets a panic attack, or you wouldn't give it to him soon enough. Or. Or. This is not fair. Or. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the laugh. That was so cute. I love that. Hey, why don't you go next? Okay. Sure. Why not? It's a Kashi or. Is it Kakin? Kakina. <laughs> One of them. So. Akashi. Akashi. Oh. I'm nervous. He ran into the living room. Only Rufus. I see what you did. If I die. And then of course you chose Bokuto to be the one to say, what would you do if I die? Knowing that there's like this other alternative universe where, you know, Bokuto does die. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I can already see the chat. In another life. Flash a bright smile at the small. As Kashi looked up from his notes, his lips tugging upwards in a small smile as he saw the ice. <laughs> Hello, Bokuto san. Oh my god, Akashi. He pouted at the use of his last name as he let himself fall onto the couch beside him. Akashi laughed and put his notes away so that Bokuto could rest his head on Akashi's lap as usual. What is a katara? There was a hint of teasing in his voice that Bogoto gladly ignored as a familiar warmth spread in his chest upon being addressed by his first name. He hugged him tighter. You know, there's something. I can hear the smile in Hana's voice as they're voicing this. It's really weird because I can hear it in myself sometimes whenever I like record my voice for my videos and like I don't know, there's this way that you can tell that we're smiling as we're saying it. <laughs> and I don't know, I feel like it gives off more emotion. And Hana does a fantastic job of doing that. Because whenever they said that there was a hint of teasing in his voice. Like, I, I can't even explain it. But I can hear the smile. It, it, it adds character. I just wanted to ask you something. Hmm? For a brief moment, his gaze wandered over to his notes again. But before he could remind Bokoto to please be quick about this so that he could get some more work He's in. He's not going to get any work in. He's not going to get any work in whatsoever. What oh. What would you do? Akashi paused, looking at him incredulously. That's a big word. All the possibilities he considered in his head beforehand couldn't prepare him for this. It wasn't one of them. It suddenly felt as though his brain struggled to process, as if it had stopped working properly the moment Bokuto's words reached him. Is he gonna have a panic attack? He couldn't do anything but stare at the ace, unwilling to interpret the question further, to read more into it that might result in bad news. But horrible news. Too vile to ever be considered an option. He couldn't. He, he couldn't allow his brain to go okay. there or he might never return. I think it's Akashi. His absence could never be even for just a second part of reality. Not in that way. Not in any way. He... Ooh. That... Don't think about it. Don't think about it. Don't think. The emotion? He desperately tried to ignore the whys and hows. He didn't want to know what had driven him to such a question. But what if he had to? What if just outside of his conscious state of denial awaited a harsh reality too bitter to take? The way that that was written. 
I feel like recently my own writing has been lacking something, and then I come to Hannah's content, I'm like, yeah, now I know what I'm lacking. Talent. <laughs> I'm kidding. But, I don't know, there's just this way that Hannah writes. It's almost more sophisticated. I can never. <laughs> it's, it's very deep, the way that Hannah writes. It takes stuff more metaphorically, but then turning it real, if that makes sense. Okay. What if just beyond what he was willing to understand lay a much more painful truth he willfully ignored? Because, like, what? Oh, he, he is definitely... Okay. Akashi! Strong hands had gripped onto his shoulders, holding him at arm's length. Piercing yellow eyes met his gaze and searched his eyes for an answer. Slightly chapped lips moved as he called out to him repeatedly, breaking him out of his stupor and into reality. Akashi blinked, trying to regain control. All of a sudden, there was a stinging in his eyes, and his lungs hurt as his breath grew shallow. It was as if he had left his body entirely, only for his physical sensations to multiply in severity once he returned. Akashi, what is wrong? His voice immediately grew soft as he saw that his boyfriend was back with him. He gently, yet firmly, stroked over his arms to ground him and provide a sensation to concentrate on. Hey, it's okay. You are okay. Breathe with me. Akashi nodded a little uncertainly as he imitated Bokuto, taking deep breaths to the best of his abilities. How does voice is so calming? Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. So Akashi was definitely the one to have a panic attack rather than Kageyama or Hinata, I still don't know who's going to be the one doing the challenge and the one that's going to be the victim. I think that was worded correctly. I'm not too sure, but it was definitely Akashi. Okay. Wow. I knew it would be Bokuaka because of freaking in another life. But dang. I feel like Akashi would definitely be the one to be the one that gets hurt. I'm not, I'm not saying that this is because, like, he's, like, overly sensitive. I feel like, in a way, he's, I feel like, in a way, he's made himself grounded with both of those presents. And he grew accustomed to it between when they met in high school. And this is time skip. So, throughout the time that they've been together. So, I feel like once... Bokuto were to ever be missing from his life, then Bokuto is definitely the golden retriever type. <laughs> so it's such a light to Akashi's life. And if that light were to be gone, he wouldn't really know what to do with himself. So I could definitely see how there is some anxiety involved in the loss of Bokuto. <sighs> but it hurts. <laughs> That's good. You're doing great. Oh, he's so sweet. A genuine smile spread on the ace's face as he praised him with every successful breath. You're doing so amazing. It's okay. You are alright. Are you so... He forced the words out. If he could, he didn't want to know. But he had to. Huh? Uh, of course. Perfectly fine as always. Akashi pressed his lips together. This is what you call gone wrong. <laughs> Did you ask me that? Okay, more upbeat music. We're okay. <laughs> In a matter of a second, but it seemed puzzled before realization dawned on his face. That's what caused this, isn't it? <gasps> Don't blame yourself. It's honestly an he honest mistake. Biting the inside of his cheek. I'm sorry, Keiji, but I swear I'm alright. It was just a stupid question from the group chat, and I got curious. 
Akashin looked at him with wide eyes as if he didn't dare believe it just yet. You would tell me something was wrong, right? Of course. His voice sounded almost meek at the request as he held out his hand. Bokuto laughed and intertwined their pinkies. It was a silly gesture, yet somehow that was exactly what brought him comfort. Because I heard that meekness. That's goosebumps. Promise. Promise. Oh, group chat time. In the group chat. Yeah, in, in the group chat. Sorry, but I can't send the video. Akashi wasn't feeling well. Respecting his... I, I know the word, but I don't know the word. Hold on, I have to hydrate. I can't even read that one. This one right here. You can't even see it. I made this board so that you guys can see future content, like sneaking a glance or whatever. But I didn't use the right marker, so you can't even see. This one, I can't even see because the marker is the same color as the paper. So, I am going to have a little announcement at the end of the video and it will make sense what I'm saying now. But, this right here, I'm going to change it. But, this right here is... I made a community post a while ago. Like, a while ago. Of who you guys wanted to see go wrong in the prank series. The point is, I'm going to be changing it, but I made that list with a community post saying what, who would you like to see go wrong, whether it's topped or the bottoms, and I had votes and all that, so they're all there, but the sticky note that you can't see, oh, that hurt, um, is future ships to go wrong, which order, no idea. This sticky note, again, you can't see. Future pranks. Well, pass out, drowning, blind, allergy, and then three others. So you guys can pause that if you really want to see. Yeah. Where, where did that come from? Oh my gosh. Let's get back to the video. <laughs> what happened? The question kind of caught him off guard. He didn't take it. He didn't take it well at all. I'm sorry. I hope he gets better soon. <coughs> Poor Kashi. Oh, Hinata. Yeah. Like so it's know. Kageyama that's getting pranked. Good. Who'll be next? Hinata. Hi, Kurt. <laughs> Kaya! Great. I can't wait to see Kagema's reaction. No! Because, like, okay, we all know that at some point... Hope he cries. Oh, come on, what the heck? <laughs> but... Kagiyama lost his grandfather, which was a very important person in his life. And I'm not entirely sure who lost who. Wait, that didn't make sense. Reword that. Okay. I'm not sure. As far as I know, Kakiyama is the only one that told us. Reword that again. Um, as far as we know, as I know, gosh, Kagiyama is the only one that lost somebody important. Like, of course... Like, a huge impact in his life. As far as I know, I don't know any other character that lost somebody. Maybe I'm just coming out of blank right now. But Kakiyama lost someone super important in his life. So, like, I feel like... Uh, it, it, it's I hope you Bruh. Kawa. That's what I'm saying! What? He not us offline. Oh, yeah, he was mad. Did anyone else notice that Suma still isn't back? What happened to Sakuratsu again? Yeah. I'm gonna have to rewatch that later. 
Are we sure they're all right? Ah, oh, I'm getting anxious again. What happened? If that helps, I can go check on them later. That'd be great. I had a vision of what happened just now with Sakuratsu, but I can't tell if it was from this channel or for a different other channel. I don't know anymore. I can't trust my own memory. Alright, Kaz? Hinata is so cute. So is Kagiyama. Hinata was already on his lap while messaging the group chat. Meanwhile, Kagawa watched a game analysis on his phone, one arm around the smaller. Okay. So, I just made a one shot. I'll be your decoy or something like that. I already forgot what it's called. Of course. Leave me to remember. Um, but that was... So this will definitely, uh, that was the last Kakihina thing that I've seen, and I posted that a while ago. So, <laughs> this will definitely be a change of atmosphere from that. What would you do if I died? He just threw that out there. shoulders and I don't know. He brushed through the soft orange curls with his fingers absentmindedly and pulled him even closer, basking in his warmth. I can't even say anything because if you, if you haven't seen I'll Be Your Decoy, wait, is that what it's really called? I'm losing my mind. Stop laughing. This isn't a funny matter. I'll be your decoy. That is what it's called. <laughs> Let's just say something happens to Hinata before something happens to Kagiyama. That's all I'm going to say. So, of course, since something happens to Hinata first, Kagiyama is the one that reacts to that before Kagiyama happens to the same. I can't even explain it correctly, but it's funny because it's like the complete opposite of this. I can tell you that much. Why would I think about that if I have you right here? <laughs> he never hesitated. I'm sure if you should continue, he sighed. I can't take this seriously. Yeah, well, but things happen. People get hurt or into accidents and... But not as long as you're with me. He I messed up. Exactly. Still deeply engrossed in the game he was watching, that he almost missed the effect his words had on Hinata. The ginger was blushing, his cheeks dusted in a deep red, and staring at him with wide eyes. Just like Kagama noticed, he didn't know what to do with it or how they even got into this situation. Just accept the fluff. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? Because I'm genuinely confused that Hinata couldn't help but laugh. Gay panic. It's true that most of the time Kagema didn't even try being romantic. He didn't sugarcoat things or lie to make him feel better, which was all the more reassuring because he always knew that Kagema was genuine. For him, it was simply a fact that he loved Hinata just as much that nothing would happen to him as long as he was here in his arms, because. He would protect him. He didn't play a role, the strong protector or anything alike to pretend and impress. He was just like that. I love you, Kagiyama. He sat up in his lap and kissed Kagiyama on the nose. He was even more confused as to why he would bring it up so suddenly, but choose not to question it and simply put him down into a real kiss. <laughs> okay, this is good. This is very fluffy in the group chat okay but no joke that was cute that's what i'm saying Annoyingly so <sighs> why are you being like that Next, i'll never let toby live down that he's such a softy for tibby <laughs> oh yeah none of us will oh there he is you're back simu what happened nothing much all is good now yeah i still don't know what happened that's good to hear <clears throat> you were gone for quite a while. 
Yeah, so all is fine. So anyways, who's next? Okay. Great. Simishiro's next. Still sauce. Still sauce, yeah. Agreed. Thank you all for watching to the end. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, consider leaving a like and consider subscribing so you won't miss out on the next part. And yeah, today it was, I want to say a bit more on the highlight hearted stuff, but then I remember the book I'll go on. Uh, <laughs> I still hope you enjoyed it very much. Tell me in the comments which ships you are most excited for in the next part. And damn it, I forgot. <laughs> really sad, at least. Either way, I hope you have a wonderful and amazing day. You can check out my social medias as listed a second before. <laughs> no, I hope you have a wonderful and amazing day. No, I actually just remembered. I already reacted to the Christmas Christmas collaboration with Hana. Well, with everyone, but the one the video with Hana, Hana's video. Wow. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> I actually re reacted to that in January whenever I was sick I have yet to edit it or anything actually so I have two videos to edit I didn't even know it isn't that awesome <clears throat> I feel like I haven't done anything except I did do equal amount of work months ago it's March it is March the 1st, as I'm recording. <coughs> but that was adorable. That was everything I needed, especially after what I did to Kagihina. I'm so sorry. Ooh. For those who have watched it. Next time I actually do write about Kagihina... That will be the sixth part of the allergy prank. I'm still working on the fourth part, so it's gonna be a hot minute. Uh, <laughs> so, that is definitely interesting. Um, so, there are a few things I'd like to go over before I end this video. First, amazing video. Love this. This was everything that I needed. Honestly, it was adorable. Boku Aka, I did expect it because... Well, I've already explained my reasoning. But... Yaku Lav... That was honestly a reasonable answer as well. I feel like... <laughs> Yaku would definitely find a way to threaten love from ever disappearing <laughs> like that. Kakihina, I did expect a little bit more of waterworks, except not actually, but just some sort of extra emotion there. Oh my gosh, it's March the 1st, it's Matson and Yahaba's birthday. They're on the same team, that's so cool. Um, as you know, I have been doing fall marathons, winter marathons. I'm not doing a spring marathon. I'm sorry. I was an idiot when choosing my classes. <sighs> I'm taking six classes right now. Four is full time. I got a little excited whenever planning my classes for the semester. So I am uh, a little... I'm struggling to get one update a week. So I'm not going to be able to do a spring marathon, but I am having a summer marathon sometime in summer after I get back from my trip in Germany, that is going to be in May. So summer marathon will be in June or July, or I might even be able to pull off a marathon June and July, but I can't say anything for sure because I'm sure I'll get sick. I get sick so often. It's only March and I've gotten sick three times, <sighs> three times. My immune system is garbage. When I was talking about this, this will all be coming down. Everything will be coming down. I'm moving, so it's going to be hectic. <laughs> uh, there is definitely 
it's gonna be really hectic. I, I said at the beginning of the year that 2023 is when a lot of stuff is happening and we're getting, I'm, I'm going to be doing stuff, but I have been not really upholding my message there and I'm really sorry about that. I, it all started when I got sick in January. I couldn't even finish my winter marathon. I still have a video that I need to edit too. I have three videos to edit. Wow. Okay. So, <laughs> definitely interesting, uh, but I, w I will get there, I promise. I did say there was another community post about I wanted to do a Pocky challenge, and I had a little poll for to do this Pretty Setter Squad or the Captain Squad for the challenge. Obviously, Pretty Setter Squad won, so we'll be doing it for this one, and then the next challenge that I do, something like that, it will be the Captains. But that is actually going to be a thing that I premiere in May. I will be gone and out of the States for a month, and I can't go a month without making any videos, so I will be making videos in advance to have for the May, and that will be four different videos, I think. Oh, but, 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 why is okay that's april my calendar is very high in the air okay so that's one two three four yeah four different videos of course i have to write them first but i will be having those in advance that way you guys can still get content and yeah i can still get you guys' feedback because your guys' feedback is everything to me Final thing, so I made a challenge to myself that I would get 4k subscribers by the end of last year. I did with a few, a little over a hundred extra to spare. I'm like, wow, I didn't even think I would, but, and I made another goal to reach 5k by May, whenever I leave for Germany. I'm already at 4.6, and it's only March 1st. I'm like, what? You guys are awesome. <laughs> but yes, uh, I will definitely try to record another video today so that I can have extra content and maybe I can get something out sooner. <sighs> but yeah, thank you so much for watching. As always, if you'd like to be kept up to date, check out any of my social medias. I hope that you all have a wonderful day or evening.